Hi Gemini, this is your June 27th through July 3rd weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. Well, I have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business, and your finances. And we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. We have the Ace of Wands clarified by the King of Wands. We have the Three of Cups. We have the Ace of Cups clarified by the Eight of Wands. In the potential outcome, we have the Four of Wands with the Star and the Nine of Cups. And we also have the Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Fire Sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or pretty much any zodiac sign. Well, let's go over the obvious right away, <laughs> Gemini. We have a matching couple, the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands, right? Um, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or with somebody with fire in your chart. But whenever the King and the Queen of Wands come out in the same spread, you guys make a perfect couple, all right? It's like you're two partners in crime, hopefully not literally. Um, both of you are very enthusiastic. Both of you are easy to get up and go. Both of you are curious about life and exploring new things. It's like, bam. <laughs> it's like you're looking into the mirror, right? Uh, another obvious thing is that we have two aces on the table, and I think one of them belongs to the person entering your life, and the other one belongs to you. Don't worry about the fact that one of them is an ace of wands, and the other one is the ace of cups. That means just it's just... Um, a confirmation that the two of you really want this to happen. Both of you are really excited about this. Both of you have feelings towards each other, right? And another thing I noticed right away is that there is two wish come true, two wish granted cards, and both of them are on the table, and both of them are in the potential outcome. Um, the, the star is the first one, and the nine of cups is the uh, second one. And I think, again, one of them belongs to you, and the other one belongs to them. So it's like... It's like perfect timing. Speaking of perfect timing, uh, the four of ones, the first card in the uh, potential outcome, is often called the eleven eleven card. So you know, the three of cups, the third card that came out uh, from the left, um, is probably how you're gonna meet. The three of cups is a card of a party, a gathering, or some kind of an event or con or a concert. Right, so if you're invited to go, I think you should attend. You, you could be invited by a friend, by a family member, or this king of wands uh, could be inviting you, and I think you should go. <laughs> okay, um, but the, the three of cups is also a card of a union, a very happy union, and it's really symbolic how cards came out. Right, we got the union, uh, the celebration card, and two aces on the two, on the side. So you're definitely looking forward to this union together with them. The Ace of Cups is classified by the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is the Cupid's Arrows card, so this is definitely love at first sight. And I believe it's mutual. I really do believe it's mutual. The Four of Wands is not only the eleven eleven card, the Four of Wands is one of the commitment and marriage cards. To me personally the Four of Wands always reminds me of an actual wedding. By the way, you, if you're going to a wedding this week you could be uh, meeting this person there, <laughs> or they all of a sudden may invite you to join them, to come to a wedding with them, right? Or the other way around, right? Uh, but yeah, it always the four ones always reminds me of an actual uh, wedding because in some cultures when people get married they do it underneath the structure with the leaves and branches on top. But um, ultimately it is one of the commitment and marriage card, and I really like the fact that the four of ones came out because this is a fire sign indicator right and the two of you are showing up as two fire signs well two fiery and two passionate two um, enthusiastic people right perhaps both of you um, you know are leaders because the king of ones could be a leader somebody who is with an initiative uh, perhaps you're meeting at some kind of a business event a conference if both of you are attending you could be uh, meeting there Right and uh, hating enough from that point on, because yeah, you're you're two equal, two equal individuals, right? That's the way it's going to play out. Both of you will respect each other's um, borders, but at the same time, both of you can make anything happen. You can conquer the world together. You can run a business together if you want, right? You can make anything happen. I'm not going to do an extended for you, uh, Gemini, because this is an amazing spread. Like I said, two aces. A king and a queen of wands, two wish come true cards, and the 1111 card. And don't forget about the eight of wands, the Cupid's Eros card. For some of you, the eight of wands is a card of travel, by the way. 
Um, if you are traveling uh, this week, you could be meeting this person while you're on your road, or you could be traveling to that event, party, gathering, conference, what have you. Right? So if I were to do an extended, it would be a waste of time. <laughs> All right? Gemini, it's a, it's, a, it's a perfect match. It's a perfect match. We've got duality here, right? Both of you bring the same things to the table. Really happy for you, Gemini. Congratulations. Gemini, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Six of Pentacles, we have the Sun, we have the Eight of Wands, and uh, we also have the Page of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You guys are looking for something. Some of you are looking for a vacation, destination. Um, it could be a long-term vacation or it could just be um, a short-term over the weekend, like a weekend getaway type of a deal, right? And I think you're going to find it, <laughs> right? The Page of Swords on the bottom of the deck in this case is a card of a research. This is you and your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your significant other, or just them sitting in front of a computer or on the phone and looking for something, right? The Six of Pentacles, the first card I came out, this is, in this case, a card of a choice, Right? So the person standing up, the person in the middle is holding up the scales, and the scales are all about weighing all pros and cons, right? The sun in the middle is a card of clarity, and it's also the happiest card in the deck. So, yeah, you'll figure it out. The eight of ones right next to the deck is a card of travel or a card of communication, right? Perhaps you're going to be communicating um, with your boyfriend, your girlfriend, and you'll be like, oh, I found this and they're going to be, um, and I found that, and the t then the two of you will compare notes and you'll choose the uh, the place you actually want to go, and then, I don't know if you're going to go this week, but uh, there's definitely travel coming up with that 801s, alright, um, perhaps you're looking for us to make a purchase, and uh, in order for you to purchase that, it has to be delivered, or you have to go somewhere to pick it up, you know, something like that, alright? Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Gemini, this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. We have the Four of Cups, we have the Hermit, we have uh, the Devil, clarified by Judgment, and uh, we have the Fool on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Virgo, or uh, a Capricorn, or pretty much any Zodiac sign. Well, we've got uh, four major Arcana cards on the table. Um, and the very first card I came out, the only non-major arcana card, is the Four of Cups, which is a card of a rejection. And I believe that's what you should probably do. Reject this person. Um, you could be dealing with a Virgo or a Capricorn or pretty much any zodiac sign, but um, just to... If you ever were in a very toxic relationship, if uh, you felt like you were kind of hooked on that person, if that person was very toxic, codependent, if they were manipulating you, if they were uh, using all kinds of weird techniques to keep you attached to them, and uh, if you liberated yourself from that person, then that could be the person coming back, Gemini. Yep. And they will try to lure you back in, they will try to trigger same pressure points using the same techniques, and uh, like I said, the first card that came out is the rejection card, right? The full card on the bottom of the deck is a card of liberation in this case, right? So you've liberated yourself from this person at some point in the past, and uh, this is like a, the final test for you, Gemini. This is the final test for you to completely cut the cord. Perhaps you already completely cut the cord, and this person just needs to uh, hear that from you. But I wouldn't spend that much time on this person, you know, because perhaps this person they're just going to try to start this conversation so you to stir up the feelings within you, so be careful. As a matter of fact, it kind of reminds me of my beware readings I do once a month, so beware of this person, whatever their zodiac sign is. All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances uh, this week, Gemini. We have the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Two of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Um, the Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck, this is somebody coming in uh, with a hot offer. It's hot. <laughs> or this person is really excited to get you on board, or this person is really excited to work with you, collaborate with you, you know, something like that. And um, I think the decision will be made by you to uh, give this person a chance, or give this job a chance, or give this investment opportunity a chance. 
right? The Ace of Swords, the first card that came out, this is the, the answer, yes. So yes, let's do this. Yes, let's give it a shot. It's clarified by the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is a card of work, business, and finances, right? The Two of Pentacles in the middle, I think this is um, you juggling a few things. Perhaps uh, you have a job right now, and uh, you may have to... If this is a new job offer, before you quit this job, you have to close things out, right? You have to finish a whole bunch of things. So you're like juggling all these things. If this is an additional job, if this is a side gig, right? Then you'll have to juggle your daytime job and um, whatever this person wants you to do with them, together with them. And the Three of Pentacles right next to the deck is a card of collaboration, okay? So yeah, um, I think it's going to be something exciting, you know, because uh, I think with the Ace of Swords, you will definitely want to participate. <laughs> like I said, the Ace of Swords is the word yes. The answer is yes, let's do this. All right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Gemini. We have uh, the Ten of Swords, clarified by the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, we have the Queen of Wands, clarified by the Two of Cups. We have uh, the Ace of Cups and uh, the King of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So this right here talks about the new love spread. This is um, some more details about it, right? So this is a different deck, as you can see, but uh, like I said, this is still the same story because we got the king and the queen of wands here. However, we also have this queen. We also have this queen of pentacles, right? And the queen of pentacles is clarifying the ten of swords. So the question I have for you, Gemini, is who is this queen of pentacles, and why this person is trying to intervene between the two of you? It could be your ex. It could be your new person's ex, or it could be. A family member, it could be a friend. I think this Queen of Pentacles is going to try to stop the, the two of you from uh, getting together, right? Um, and I think they're going to fail, <laughs> right? Because they're clarifying the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is a card of an abrupt ending, right? So first of all, the Ten of Swords, this is them trying to stop the two of you from being together. But at the same time, the Ten of Swords, I think this is you guys shutting them down. Right, so this person is going to become irrelevant. If this is a friend some, who whispers on your ear or their ear and say, Oh, I don't think you guys should be together, shut this person down. If this is an ex trying to intervene, perhaps they found out that the two of you went on a couple of dates and you're happy together, shut this person down. Okay? If this is your person's ex, then they will shut them down. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, all right? Because we have a lot of love here. Uh, the Queen of Wands is clarified by the Two of Cups. It's a soulmate card, right? And the Ace of Cups right next to the deck is uh, all about love. And you guys are looking at each other. You see how the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands are looking at each other? So, yeah, be, be careful of this Queen of Pentacles. And, um, yeah, don't listen to what this uh, Queen of Pentacles has to say. All right, yeah, there's a twist to the story after all, <laughs> Gemini, but you'll be all right, you'll be all right. All right, so yeah, that's what I have for you, Gemini, for this reading. If this video resonates with you, please like it, please share and subscribe, and other than that, Gemini, have an amazing week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing.